18 people dead and a community in shock. We have team coverage tonight in Putnam County as neighbors work to clean up and rebuild. We start with News Channel 5's Jason Lamb, who just learned brand new information from officials in Cookville. Jason. Yeah, that's right, Vicki. Most importantly, with this new update, that death toll, 18 people, has not increased since yesterday. That is good news. Also good news, they say there is currently no one that has been reported missing that still has not been accounted for. Now, officials have warned, however, that number of people who have been reported missing may increase again as more people call in. Putnam County says when that happens, they have a room of dozens of people who follow up on the leads and can oftentimes locate people in a matter of minutes. We saw that happen several times today. Putnam County officials say their initial assessment of all damaged structures is completed with over 400 people here having experienced damage of some kind, including 31 businesses. They are warning neighbors here as power is being gradually restored. If your home is damaged in Putnam County, they want you to turn off the main breakers in your home. They do not want fires to start once power is restored. A curfew is going to remain in effect starting at 7 o'clock tonight. Now, State Representative State Representative Ryan Williams from Cookville spoke about his perspective from this devastation. You know, God was not in this tornado, but he has been in our response. And so we're really excited to see that uh, really come to fruition in the next few days, weeks, and months as we get back to what it is we do here in Putnam County. So the neighborhoods where these tornadoes hit are now mostly quiet. 